Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to install Scientific Linux on a KVM. Scientific Linux ISO images are available on scientificlinux.org. For this demo purpose, I'm using KVM with 4 GB or 4000 MIB RAM, one storage disk of 20 GB or 20 GB. So let's connect uh, that ISO image with this KVM. ISO image of Scientific Linux installer. On scientificlinux.org we have two desktops av available. One is GNOME and second is this KDE. So I have this KDE DVD, DVD image downloaded. Another option is to have net install dot ISO. In case if you want to do the installation over the network, you can use this. However, make sure you have a good connectivity with the nearest mirror of scientificlinux.org. Otherwise, it can take a good amount of time to do the installation. So let's proceed proceed with the installation boot options enable boot menu because I want to select DVD for the installation start the VM escape for boot menu number 3 DVD CD Starts Scientific Linux 7.6 Live DVD KD Hit enter Okay, so right now it is booting up. This is KDE desktop environment. This is console. Web browser. Now let's do the installation. So what you can do is like uh, after using this live image you can check whether all the required things are working fine or not. If you have if you think that it, then that it is fine all things are there then simply we can go with the installation here click on this icon on the left side application launcher and here we have this install op option install to the harder hard drive Select your language for the installation. Installation destination automatic later is recommended to use automatically partitioning. And just in case, if you want to have a different partitioning scheme, then you can select this option I will configure partitioning check this button remote button then click on done it will show us option to 
options to create different partitions so let's keep it simple go ahead with the automatically configured partition partitioning option and one more thing if you want to encrypt data then check this tick this box encrypt my data click on done reclaim space if you had some some other thing installed or something then you can reclaim space this is showing overview until at all I had some other data on this so reclaim space I deleted all other partitions click on begin installation set the root password if you are using a weak password then it will give a warning message it is always recommended to use a complex password right now installation is going on let's have a look on logs or installation logs what is happening in the background we can send all this control alt f5 key ok different TTYs are <coughs> <coughs> so we have different TTYs are available here let's, let's try to find out what is happening in the background <coughs> <coughs> yes so ins installation logs are available here let's have a look on program logs
so by default we have all the things which we may require on a desktop sound mixer application settings system settings network to create a user new user you can do it right right here in parallel installing software 100% complete because this KVM is over the network I think it is also fetching latest updates from the network we can find out in this logs yes <coughs> now bootloader is installing installation of bootloader is going on On varying init RAM FS Okay, the installation is complete now. Scientific Linux is now successfully installed and ready for you for you to use. Reboot machine and disconnect the installation image. Let's uh, force reboot, force reset. Installation was also already done, so it should not cause an issue. To save time, I'm just doing a force reset. Here it is. Grub splash screen. Now it is booting up.
license accept after reading finish configuration translation it is all always good to apply all the latest updates yes so during the installation it was not these packages updates were not automatically applied so now all the available updates are being installed after this we can reboot the server, reboot the machine and use so 125 updates are available for this KDE desktop for scientific, scientific Linux update is going on So this is the site of scientificlinux.org Who makes Scientific Linux? Scientific Linux has received contributions from many people and organizations over the years.
project founder Where is Scientific Linux running? Two most famous experiments to depend on Scientific Linux are CDF and DO, D0. And LSC, so LSC at CERN. Collider detector at Fermilab. So the update is complete and now we should reboot whenever we we have update in with the update applied for the kernel we should reboot the server reboot the machine So all the available updates are applied. Right now no other updates available. So <coughs> that's it in this video. Thanks.